close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there, and watch it for a while to see if long breathing feels good. If it does, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. You can make it shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Try to breathe in a way that feels good right now, because the mind needs a place to stay. And if it can't stay comfortably here in the present moment, it's going to go wandering someplace else. It's like a child in a house where the parents are, don't treat it well. It's going to go wandering out into the streets. And you get out in the streets and it's dangerous out there. To say nothing of the, the sun and the rain and the wind. All kinds of strange people who could kidnap you. Greed could kidnap you. Aversion could kidnap you. Delusion could kidnap you. You want to stay in a safe place inside, where you can watch the mind. But first watch the breath. Get the mind gathered around the breath, and it's a lot easier to watch the mind. So give your full attention to how the breathing feels right now. Any other thoughts that come up right now, you can just let them go. You can think about them later if you have to. Right now you're trying to get the mind together. It's when it's all here that you can see it. The mind is scattered around. Who knows where all the different pieces are scattered and what's going on. But when it's all gathered together like this, not only can you see it more clearly, but also the mind gains strength. Because you're not having to run around lots of different places. It's all right here. We're talking about making merit. There's the merit of generosity. There's the merit of observing the precepts. When you make a vow to yourself that you're not going to harm other people, you're not going to harm them by killing or stealing or having illicit sex or lying or taking intoxicants. And at the same time, if you hold to these precepts, you're not harming yourself. You're protecting yourself from harm, because that's where the main source of harm is in, in our own actions. And if we abstain from things that are harmful to other people, we're protecting ourselves as well. So we want to make sure that protection is all around. That way you're building a fence around you. And some people don't like the idea of a fence. You may feel closed in, but it's your protection. Then when everything is fenced in inside, then the mind can gather together. And you can learn how to see your own mind for what's going on inside. So gather around the breath right here. Think about the breath. Feel the breath. Try different kinds of breathing and decide which ways feel best for you, and then try to maintain them as long as they feel good. And if they don't feel good anymore, then you can change again. If you take an interest in the present moment, the mind will be more and more inclined to stay here. And that's where you can watch it. That's where you can understand it. And because it's all right here, you don't have to go running around. So there's a sense of well-being, a sense of strength that comes from gathering right here. So try to maintain that as best you can. It's going to be your defense against all the things inside you and all the things outside. But as I said, your main protection is making sure that you don't break the precepts and that you keep your mind gathered together. If you look after yourself in this way, then you're protecting yourself. Whatever happens in the world, as long as you make sure that your actions are skillful, you're safe. So keep your focus right here as, as much as you can.